duration of your entire trip. No one knows the country better than the guides of Costa Rica expeditions. The next day, it's time to do a little shopping and exploring in nearby Santa Elena, a small, charming mountain town. There you will find a variety of great gift shops and restaurants. For unbelievable great pastries and fresh coffee, you can't miss Stella's Bakery. After spending a day shopping and strolling through the town, we decided to take a sunset horseback tour. Now I must admit, this one was one of my favorite tours. Costa Rica Expeditions placed me in the capable hands of the owners of Estrella Stables. If you want to get really up close and personal with all kinds of wildlife, this is the way to do it. Bloody, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing, you silly monkey? <laughs> you cheeky monkey. <laughs> After a good night's sleep, it's time to venture out into the cloud forest of Monte Verde Reserve. Well, first of all, this forest, beside cloud forest, is also called rainforest. Rainforest is a little bit lower, where most of the trees are in their trunks, I mean, they're very clear. Very common in this forest are the epiphytes. What means epiphytes? Epiphytes means air plants. So many habitats in such a small area, along with extensive trail improvements, allow visitors to enjoy a rich diversity of flora and fauna with relatively easy walking. Our guide today is one of Costa Rica Expedition's best, naturalist Carlos Luis Vasquez. Carlos will attempt to help us spot the elusive resplendent Quetzal, the most sought after and difficult to spot bird of the cloud forest.
guys, this root came not from, not, rose not from the ground. This root came actually from the forest canopy. This root comes from another plant. That, that plant germinate out there, to become a plant, and then send, send this tiny root down to get nutrients. So now, this ME epiphyte is getting nutrients from both from the forest ground and then from the forest canopy, ME epiphyte. After spending three action-packed days of nature tours, shopping, and relaxation in the cool mountain air of Monte Verde, it is time to begin circling eastward. This time to Costa Rica's real hot spot, the very active volcano at Arenal. The trip from Monte Verde to Lake Arenal is not nearly as challenging as the road from Las Juntas to Monte Verde. The short jaunt to the lake is one of total serenity. Those futuristic looking windmills provide a significant percentage of Costa Rica's electric power. Now our next stop is La Mansión at Lake Arenal, which will serve as our base for exploring the Arenal volcano area. Not to be confused with La Mansión at Manuel Antonio, this La Mansión is under separate ownership and has a distinctly unique character and different feel. La Manciana d'Arenal is comprised of 14 very private and exclusive villas, each with a gorgeous view of Lake Arenal, and each beautifully furnished. Besides plush and comfortable accommodations, the inn has an infinity swimming pool, a jacuzzi constantly filled with natural spring water, and beautiful tropical gardens. And like its namesake at Manuel Antonio, you will be given VIP attention in a luxurious, romantic setting. Before dinner, you may want to enjoy a cocktail at the unique bar shaped like a ship's hole. After spending a relaxing night at La Mansion, it is time to begin our volcanic adventure. As we cross the dam at Lake Arnal, we catch a close-up glimpse of Arnal shrouded in the clouds. But for now, we're going to head around the volcano to what we consider a major find for those seeking the real Costa Rica, so listen carefully. How would you like an incredible hot springs experience at a private first class facility, by appointment only, with drinks and meals provided if you desire, for about the same cost that the masses are paying just up the road? Just tell them you want to visit the Hidalgo Family Hot Springs at Arenal.